Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today, starting on this one day time frame for Bitcoin. And I'm going to talk about something very dangerous here today, which is, is the bottom in for Bitcoin here, considering that we just saw this big dump to the downside with a quick recovery on this one day time frame. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you some of the bullish signals that I'm seeing and also some of the things that you should be paying attention to in the charts to make sure that you are not getting fooled by this next Bitcoin move here. So let's dive right into the analysis. First of all, if we just take a look at the MACD indicator for Bitcoin. So recently we flipped into bearish territory on this MACD indicator. However, we haven't really seen this accelerate to the downside. So it is staying kind of stable here. And in fact, today, if we just close at the current price or a little bit higher, then we are actually seeing a decrease in bearish momentum. And especially if we see back to back days of decreases, then the odds of us coming back into this bullish zone here is more likely. So this is something that I will definitely be looking out for in the charts as well as a potential bullish signal in the short term. Now, if we zoom into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin, there's another bullish signal here which is a bullish divergence, which is when you have lower lows in the Bitcoin price and higher lows in the RSI momentum indicator. And yes, I know that this is another bullish divergence after we already confirmed multiple bullish divergences here. However, this is not rare to see in the charts. It actually happens quite often if you are in a downtrend that you get multiple bullish divergences before you actually get that reversal signal. But either way, what you typically see on a bullish divergence is that we get a break from all of this bearish price action. And instead it is more likely that we are going to get some choppy sideways price action or potentially even some bullish momentum in the short term. Now, again, as I said in previous videos as well, a bullish divergence actually invalidates if we trade below the trend line on the price action or in the RSI momentum indicator. So that is something to watch out for because if this invalidates, then the door to more bearish price action is opened once again. Moving on to the Fibonacci levels for Bitcoin, again on this daily time frame, you can see that we are still ranging perfectly between this 0.5 level at 59.5K and this 0.382 Fibonacci level sitting at 57,000 US dollars. So once again, as I have been saying for the past couple of days here, Bitcoin is basically just chopping around sideways. There isn't really any momentum to the upside or to the downside. And I do expect this to continue in the short term here, so long as we do not break one of these levels on the daily time frame. So if you keep this range in mind on the daily time frame, I think it is also a great range to trade on the lower time frames. So why am I even talking about this potentially being a short term bottom for Bitcoin? As you can see, we just bounced from this big level of support for Bitcoin, which is sitting from 58,000 all the way down to 56,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. And of course, as I said in yesterday's video as well, make sure to watch if this 56K level holds. And so long as it holds, I think we can still just see another bounce back inside this level of resistance, sitting from 60,000 all the way up to 62.4K, because this is basically just the range that we have been trading in for Bitcoin for close to four weeks at this point. Now, of course, yesterday, this was a bit of a close call. So again, if we actually lose 56K as a level of support, let's say that we trade below it, we come back up to retest this, and get a rejection back down. Well, yes, very likely we are going to see much lower price action for Bitcoin. For example, 53,000 all the way down to 50,000 US dollars is a big level of support for Bitcoin in the case that we lose this level right here. Something to watch out for in the chart here is if you actually see Bitcoin pump straight into this level of resistance, because I think likely at that point, a lot of the lower timeframes here will be in extremely overbought territory, making it more likely that we are going to get a rejection down here or potentially just get some choppy sideways price action in this range here for a little bit. So do not get too overly bullish if you actually see something like this play out in the charts. If we then take a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map, first of all, on this one month time frame, you can see that we just took out a big level of liquidity. So a lot of longs just got liquidated here meaning they lost their money on their trade. And yes, there is still quite a bit of liquidity to the downside. 
as low as about, let's say, 54.5K, roughly speaking. So if you are a bull, it is a bit annoying that there is some liquidity to the downside left here that did not get taken out. However, on the one week time frame, we get a pretty clear picture here, which is that most of the liquidity to the downside was actually taken out. Yes, as I said, there is still some liquidity that did not get swept. However, right now, most of the liquidity is actually to the upside, as high as about 59.8K, and there's even more liquidity sitting at 61.5K for the Bitcoin price. So especially that 60K level is going to be very interesting to see what happens to the price at that level there, because I do expect that this 60K level could be some strong resistance in the short term. But to me personally, at least, this looks quite likely to be grabbed considering how close it is to the Bitcoin price. And it, we're talking about over $800 million worth of short positions here that would get liquidated if the Bitcoin price reaches 60K. So for me personally, at least, this looks quite likely to be grabbed. Now let's get to the Bitcoin ETF flow tables for today, which might be the funniest part of this video, because yesterday we saw a net outflow of close to $300 million and they might have done it again, boys, because <laughs> as you know, we have seen these ETF investors buy the exact highs and sell the exact lows. And if this is another short term low here for Bitcoin, then they will have sold the bottom once again. But look, guys, this does not have to play out this way. I just think it is really funny that it appears to be the case that they get it exactly wrong every time. However, it is still completely possible that we actually go to the bottom of the range once again. For example, if we take a look at the weekly time frame here and now closing, let's say below 58,000 US dollars on the weekly time frame would look pretty bearish because we would undercut these lows as we did with this candle right here, then come back up to retest this 58K level and not break above it. And to me, this would look like it is more likely that we are going to see another move to the downside because oh yeah, in the short term, this just looks like a breakdown, retest, resumption from there. But you know, I might be completely wrong with that. We still have a couple of days here to see if we actually break above that 58K level. So for now, I think it is very early to say that we need to go much lower here in the Bitcoin price. Let's just see how the rest of the week actually plays out and continue to trade these lower time frames for Bitcoin. Either way, this has been today's market update. One last thing, guys. I am very close to reaching 5,000 subscribers, so I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel so you can help me reach that milestone. Either way, if you do end up subscribing or not, thank you for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.